Once again, Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. What I feel will most likely be one of the last parts. I feel like we're pretty darn close here. Um, alright. When we last left off, we just solved a sacrificial lamb. Uh, we had received a file on our mother's death. Uh, missing report on mother's death. Left on the table. Got it. Officers arrived to find the deceased, Miss Violet Holmes. <coughs> Sorry. Laying in the garden of Stonewood Manor. Visual inspection. Sh I need to turn the music back off. It's like right in my damn ear. Um, visual inspection showed the victim to be thoroughly soaked with a deep vertical incision two inches in length down her throat. So down her throat the long way. Her face was swollen and covered in red blotches, likely cause of death hypoxia. Hypoxia and not exsanguination. Strange. We need confirmation from medical examiner. Main suspect Otto Richter was arrested on the scene. The body was sent for autopsy. We don't have an autopsy report. Um, I'm looking for... Yeah, Mycroft was mad at him, tore up his diploma. <coughs> Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Court summons from Mycroft. Okay. Um, and then I'm guessing we can now access that door in the back. I feel like there should be more. In this, I feel like we should be able to look something up. <clears throat> like this should be... Um, violent crimes, suspects, I feel like there should be something to look up here, there should be paperwork, but evidently there's not. Um, yeah, I feel like this is real close to being the end, so, <coughs> uh, so, um, The pillar stands near. I, I, I want to clean up some of these other things. We might not do all of them, but um, you know, I want to I want to get them out of the way here before we reach the very end. And I feel like this is pretty close to the end. So, the pillar stands near the barracks where the soldiers discuss it amongst themselves. Let's find out. Uh, we need to get out of here first. <clears throat> oh, you did it, Sherlock! The case is closed, and all rewards belong to the winner. Bravo! It is merely the triumph of the truth. Is it? No compromises? No lies? You're happy with your decisions? Um, yes. It was the best decision I could obtain. <clears throat> the truth must be told in the way it is most acceptable. You're making progress, Sherlock. I was right to believe in you. By the way, did you get that precious information about your mother? Oh, not that you must. Yes, I did. Forgive my intrusion in such a personal matter. I simply worry I'm failing to be of much help to you. Actually, you were. For some reason, all the archives on the case had disappeared. This was a rare opportunity to obtain the impossible. Outrageous. Perhaps someone found the truth unpleasant. Society usually rejects those who speak with too much honesty, doesn't it? A comfortable lie is often preferred to an uncomfortable truth. Still, I believe that the latter should prevail, and I cannot remain silent. That's quixotism at its best. Your mere truth cannot defeat institutions, systems, and power. Etiquette, religion, marriage, they're all lies told to preserve connections, love, and sanity. And it's all corruptible. Lies destroy <clears throat> human dignity. How could you make a free decision without any knowledge of the truth? Are we really free to decide anything in this world, Sherlock? Um, yes. But spare me the lecture. I get enough <clears throat> obnoxious pontification from my brother, so please spare me your lecture. Forgive my love for moral philosophy. 
I know I tend to ramble. You're a walking contradiction, Sherlock. You refuse to lie to others, but constantly lie to yourself. How long until the train comes off the track? I cannot look away, but perhaps I should take a few steps back. You're an accident waiting to happen, dear. <laughs> really? Until then, I shall <clears throat> bid you adieu. Some fucking high talk from him, the guy who was just involved in a murder where it was too fucking high to do anything about it. Talk about a fucking accident waiting to happen. It's already a car wreck in slow motion. Um, the barracks were here. <clears throat> so we're looking for some soldiers near the Pillar of Knives. Potentially talking about it. Yeah, soldiers. There's the barracks. <clears throat> I just noticed there's a police wagon just hanging out over there. Um, push. I don't see any soldiers anywhere around here. And I'm definitely pretty far away from the barracks and the pillar of knives now. <clears throat> Anything in here? No? There's nothing up here. Okay. No soldiers over here. <clears throat> Those are ladies, not soldiers. That's not a soldier. Are they in the barracks? Can I go back in? I don't think I can go back in there. Oh, how about over here? Oh, here we go. Soldiers. That pillar is a damn awesome. Hey, there we go. Not for the gen. What effect is the pillar having? Ottomans taunt us near the barracks. Okay, Ottomans taunt us near the barracks. That pillar is a death. Shut up. Oh, I missed it. I was being very stealthy, Sherlock, and you threw <coughs> it all away. Come on, pull yourself together. That pillar is a damn. Some cruel traditions still exist in our modern world. Gekmara or blood vengeance is one of the most notable traditions in Cordona. People avenge their honor and blood in the most barbaric ways imaginable. Each knife in the pillar celebrates a successful revenge. It's frightening. It looks like a shrine of hatred and pain. The worst part is that people can't undo the horrific consequences of the tradition and are forced to live with them. Is that it? That was it? I think all we did for that one is eavesdrop on two conversations. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm probably not going to do the treasure. Um, how many more of these do I have yet to find? Just one? I believe I just have one more. Let's see. Uh, there's that one. No, two. Two more? Or did I already get this one and it's just doing the thing where it's bugged and... I don't know. 
Um, oh, that one's really far away from everything. Um, I'm going to do this one instead because it's closer to the fast travel point. Supposed to truly claim that Cordona has a ghost. What? How did I? What did I? What? Oh, there's a poster. Unholy howls keeping you inside at night. Luigi can help. All ghosts gone. Meet on southern pier of the Silverton Port. Okay, first things first. Let's go get this coin. Look who's here. Oh. Is it not back here? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> there is a train track that goes all the way to, from the miners and mines to Silverton. I hid this coin where the track meets the sea. Miners and mine. I don't see a track mine. That's the thing. All the way from the miners and mine to where the coin meets the sea. <clears throat> Silverton. This is not the track. This is, um... Where is it? Is this the track? Oh, yes, this is. Um, so these are the mines... It's either up here, oh, it's up here. That's where it meets the sea. Hello? Here's the track. Do drop in any time. This way. Ow. Oh. This way. the sea. I uh, <clears throat> noticed in the uh, settings that there's a button that I could have been pressing this entire time. I don't remember it being part of the tutorial, but yes, Z allows you to ping your surroundings and allows you to see things like this. Here it is. A real English double fly. This one is from the 14th century. I think they discovered two of them in the River Tyne. No others are known to exist. Mother's shrewd deduction revealed an archaeological El Dorado back in England. This coin was just a part of what she and my father dug up. And there we go. Uh, <clears throat> um, there is still one more. Um, yeah, so I could have been using that this entire time. It took me almost the entire game to realize that that function was there, but apparently it is there. Okay, this one I probably haven't gotten yet because it's so goddamn far away from everything. So be it. We're only one coin away from completing it. We're going to complete it.
Mr. Todd. Okay, is there another way around or am I wasting my time? <clears throat> Casino? Oh god, there's no other way around, is there? Wow. Oh, Ooh, we got lions though. That looks awfully familiar. Hold on a sec, maybe I'll actually do one of these. Window, window, lion, lion, turning its head. Yep, window, window, lion, lion, turning its head. And it is... Right there. Nice find. It was well hidden. This one is... So I still don't know exactly where this is. But no match for this dynamic duo. Yeah, you really helped me a lot there. Really, I couldn't have done it without you, John. Oops. Oh my god, it's still so far away. Hey. Hey. Me. Dead end. Now I get the fast travel point. Okay. That was the third and all. What are you doing, John? That was the third. What do they have in common? Oh, the uh we, we already got this one. We already got this one, but we'll get it again just in case. That was the third. Back, Sherlock. I think they're suspicious. Oh, they were checking you out. That was the third in a row. Not witchcraft. Not place for two occupied. Wealthy houses, magical performances. Yes, we already knew that one. Well, apparently we. Do you think didn't. Marco still lives here? The man who always chased us. He must remember how we bombarded his house with oranges. Oh, there it is. Here at the building where you found this note, I once had an encounter that showed me in practice that luck is supremely unreliable. It was intended that I should meet with a contact who knew the names of some high-ranking foreign spies inside the Cordona military. I was waiting inside the building when I heard a distant gunshot. I looked out from the front door and saw my contact dead on the street below. I observed his wounds, judging by the bullet's entry path. He was shot from a northwest direction, from a very high vantage point. The shooter was exceptionally lucky. The bullet hit an artery and his target died within a matter of seconds. I quickly deduced the point from where the shot was made. I ran there and saw a police officer who was questioning a suspicious man in rumpled clothes near the gate at Vernet Street. I noticed gunpowder residue on his hands and realized that this was our shooter, held by an overly, an overly diligent policeman. A pure accident, but one can, that demonstrates how luck can turn in an instant. However, the shooter was carrying no gun. Knowing where he shot from and where he was stopped by police, I usually found the place where he disposed of his weapon. That's where you'll find your coin. Okay. <clears throat> Search between the roots of the two smaller trees. Oops. Get out of here. Northwest. Hell, what? northwest direction. So down here. 
northwest, so that that tower, church steeple. I was hoping to get lucky and happen to happen to find it just over there by the trees, but I guess not. This isn't it. It's still up there, okay. This doesn't seem like I'm going in the right direction. This is way too far. Is there a... That's the theater. Oh, God's sake. And I can't even get in. God damn it. This the policeman and the shooter. Okay. I can't do anything with it though, and I can't go in. Okay, so what does it say? String near the gate. That's this, okay. I feel like if I can't get in there, it's got to be in there somewhere, right? Where was he stopped? Yeah, he was stopped here. So he, it has to be in there. Is this something that can only be gotten during a specific mission? Or is it down here? Between the roots of the smaller two trees... Is that it? That's it. We got it. An actor called Asper by the British. One of the first Ottoman silver coins dating back to the 15th century. They minted them in Serbian despotate. It bears a Tura, the unique calligraphic seal of a sultan. Mycroft received this coin as a gift from a prominent Turkish family in Cordona for some favor. Well, all right. Is that everything? One, two, three, four, there's nine of them. John's diary. Coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got all nine. Is there... Is this, there more to this? Maybe we have to put them back in the thing in our house. Okay, we have two side quests now. Um, we also have more things to buy. We have a bunch of money from our last couple of quests, so let's do that. That should be relatively fast. And if need be, then I can, I can cheat and get money for the rest. What are you doing? 
sacrificial dagger here, if I remember correctly. It's a good day for a purchase. Merhaba, give me your dagger. May your purchase be... Uh, anything else? Nothing down here. Nothing over here. Is that it? You joy. Um... Okay, that's it for the Cabinet of Curiosities. So, Cabinet of Curiosities is done. Mother's Room is done. Main Hall is done. My Bedroom is done. Front Yard is done. Yeah, we're done. They're not completed, but they're done. Okay. I'm going to do this one then. I got, or actually, I'm going to buy some clothes. Let's pick something that suits you. Let's see, what do we got? Should I get some armor? Hopefully there's not going to be any more fighting, but... <laughs> ah, Ukrainian outfit. Royal garments. Scatterbrain scientist. should wear this so I too can be a giant pain in the ass during the fights. Um, you know, now that I look at these, I'm not really too concerned at all with them. They don't matter very much, do they? Mother outfit? Weird. Servant livery, vagabond rags, upper class Ottoman suit, ugly beige suit. Well, I'm gonna get myself some armor. Oh, I should have got the deer stalker hat. Damn. Oh, I did need to get the hat so that I could play with the gun, I think. I think we're going to cheat. Um, just a sec. Okay. So, number one disclaimer, never ever cheat on multiplayer games. This is a single player game. I would never cheat on a multiplayer game. That would be absolutely wrong. But I have my cheat engine up, and I have it attached to the Sherlock Holmes process. We currently have 25 monies, so I'm going to search for the value of 25 in here. Do a first scan. I'm assuming value type is going to be four bytes. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. All right, now I need a low value item to change the value here of my monies. Um, and that's going to be, we'll buy a top hat, and that will take our monies from 25 to 15. Um, pull up cheat engine again. Next scan will be a decreased value compared to the first scan, and next scan. Um, here we have a value that is now 15. Again, assuming that it's a 4-byte value and so on and so forth. Um, I'm going to do another exact value here. It is now 15. Alright, so we have a handful of memory addresses, but these ones are far more dynamic than I'd expect them to be, so I'm going to um, do this again. There we go. And now we're down to five. Alright. Let's start with the top one here. Let's just raise this back up to 25. And I'm going to leave. A good choice. A and good choice indeed. Come back. Let's pick something that suits you. That's it. That's the one. Okay. Um, and notice that the first uh, that yep, this that was the first value I saw. It's the first one that works. So we got lucky there on our first try. 
Let's give ourselves 50,000 monies. And go back to the game. We're going to leave. leave. Take one more look. Let's pick something we'll that suits you. Spend our money. Uh, we will get this. And 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 that is all of the outfits and a hats. God, that's creepy. A good choice. And done. A good choice indeed. And I look amazing. And I'm gonna change into I'm gonna wear the armor. I never got a chance to wear it for any actual battles, so... Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It's in the order I acquired them. Okay. Uh, should we wear the fire red hat? Yeah. We'll wear the fire red hat. The eye patch. And... That's fairly piratey. Uh, we'll wear the tattoo. That's piratey. And we'll leave John in the red. It makes it easier to spy on him. Uh, we'll come back to that in a sec. What else is there to do? Do the Ghost Hunter. It says Southern Pier of the Silverton Port. So here. Southern Pier would be over here. A vast land lover. I think this is the place. There's blood on the ground. There's a sign for the person I'm looking for. But I'm not sure where it begins, so... Where the hell did you come from? Slav squat? You're just for it. You're just for it, so... Where is this guy? I think something bad has happened to him. Does it have to be at night? Okay. Um... People are disappearing and reappearing on me all the time. Are you able to help me? What are you trying to sniff around for? I know nothing. Okay. I can see blood. I can see the sign. This is not a concentration thing. This is not an ask around thing. It's literally just a location thing. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. Um, okay. Should I do the side cases? All right, let's let's do this one quick. We'll see. We'll see how involved it is. It might it might be fast. Um, what are we looking for? Grand Saray, It's going to be the police. I'm looking for the police archives on burglary, property crimes, and Grand Saray.
Crimes, property crimes, districts, green array, and criminal pattern. Dispatch unit to investigate burglaries at the address below. Look closely into this amazing Alonzo guy. He must somehow be involved. Constable Donovan. Ah, okay. Lady Calf's house on Baskerville Street, north from the crossing with Silent Way in Grand Saray, was burgled during the Amazing Alonzo's performance. Finley Lane's gallery at the intersection of Souls Row and Joy Avenue. Lady Gruber's house. Okay, we're gonna go to the this the intersection of Saul's Row and Joy Avenue. Saul's Row, Joy Avenue. Okay, and we'll go up on Casino this way. Gallery. Oh, here's the... Okay, must be up here. Um, Can you satisfy my curiosity? It's illegal to disturb an officer without a good reason. Ask someone else. Oh, fuck off. Um, do we go in this way? No. Okay. Where is this place? It's an art gallery at the intersection of Saul and Joy. Saul and Joy was down here. Hello. It's not this. Is it this? No. 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 Hello. Amazing Alonzo. Okay. Lane residence. Okay, this is the place. Wow. That took way longer than it ought to have. My apologies, but I am not in the mood for visitors. Not after the debacle that was my last auction. Stolen from by my own valet. Bitten by the viper I nursed in my bosom. Oh, the indignity. Oh, drama indeed. My name is Sherlock Holmes and I could help you get to the bottom of this. You're Sir Finley Lane. Philanthropist, industrialist, art collector. It is a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Holmes. I suppose I could use your help, if only to confirm my suspicions about Vincent. Could you tell me more about Vincent? <laughs> a scoundrel with one leg and two faces. He's been my valet for a dozen years. Who would have thought that he would stoop so low as to steal from me? Vincent has only one leg. He lost his right leg in the Crimean War. But despite his age and his peg leg, he is actually quite spry on his feet, uh, on his foot. I took him in, gave him a job, and this is how he repays me. What happened at the auction? I intended to sell the gem of my collection, Cordona Cypresses, to fund an orphanage. God knows we need to take some of these poor waifs off the streets. To entertain my guests before the bidding, I arranged a magic show. When it was over, I went upstairs to the gallery, and it was gone. The cypresses were gone! Did your guests enjoy the show? Oh, yes. The amazing Alonso is well worth the money. The orange trick was nothing short of amazing. Everyone was completely enthralled. 
So you suspect your valet of stealing the painting? There's no one else to suspect. He's the only person other than myself who was upstairs that day. He had asked for a day off only the night before, so I was a little surprised when he came here just before the auction. Did he tell you why? Something about a damaged wallpaper roll. I'm refurbishing some rooms, you see, but that's his job. I, I don't bother myself too much with the details. I'd like to take a look upstairs where the burglary took place. Well, mm, you look like a decent man, Mr. Holmes. Here's the key to my gallery. It's the only copy, so please don't lose it. All right, let's take a look. Nice place. Oh, someone spilled the paint. Mind your step, Sherry. Mm hmm. Right, footprint, size nine. Oh, fella's only got one leg. Can't blame him. The paint splatters on the plank and floor don't match up. Okay. It's true. The board is laying in a puddle of paint and has paint on it. in Miner's End. The end of what? Of some miners, apparently. Cordona Cypresses, Angelo Cicchetti, 1840. It doesn't matter who squeezes the oranges, what matters is who gets the juice. Eclectic tastes. The frame is intact. He took only the canvas. Okay. And now it seems at this point that we have to move on to the other scenes in order to get the complete picture here. So, let's go to Lady Gruber's house. Gallifrey between Belvedere and Bonanza. Bonanza. Belvedere. Gallifrey between Belvedere and Bonanza. So somewhere over here. And again, we are so far from fast travel points. Okay. I don't see anything else up here. The curtains mark doors that are completely inaccessible for some reason. I will return... Oh, wait, hold on a sec before I go. Let's check out your gallery. Um, if I had to 
Yes, this is meant to be a depiction of Mars carrying is this a hammer. Uh, no, it's another small child. So it's not meant to be Mars. It's meant to be a young man carrying an old man who's dragging a boy. So it's a depiction of how the current generation must support the last generation to assist the future generations or to carry the future generations forward. Something along those lines. Uh, oh, this is that fish statue we saw before with the eastern fish motif and the western statue, the western depiction of a woman. Interesting. I don't know what it means, but... Pretty big for an orphanage. An ambitious project. Oh. They're building an orphanage. That's what the auction is for. the names of the contributors. Oh, nice. Uh, oranges. These are real sweet-smelling oranges, not props. Oh, well, except for this one, I assume. Secret compartments are hidden amongst the fake foliage. Nothing but a clever illusion. And glasses. There are traces of concealer on the rim. Woman's glasses. Or a vain man, perhaps. What else have we? Ah. Pushing this button makes the oranges grow within seconds. Oh, I've seen that magic trick. The marvelous orange tree. So that's the trick he was performing at the time. Okay. This is nothing. Okay, it seems significant that there would be an unfinished sketch just sitting here, but okay. Um... Oh my god, I, th I thought at first it was a stork, but then I looked at the face, and I'm not sure this is any creature <laughs> that exists in reality. Um, is this... Yeah, this is uh, Mr... What's his name? Kane? Or something along those lines? Must be him tending to the children. Um, and here we have a statue of a man attempting to... I was going to say tame a wild horse, but I can see that there's already a blanket on it. So, calm a panicking horse would be my next guess. The next lot is Sherlock's Unmentionables. Do I hear 500 pounds? 400? You're, you're fucking hilarious, John. Hilarious. Truly. What a wit. Okay, I think we have to go to the other houses to get the rest of the evidence here. What do we have here? Oh, it's that same strange bird-like creature. All right, let's do then. Um, somewhere over here, and this is the closest fast travel point. My God, what a hike this will be! I appreciate the fast travel system. It really has. Uh, help with this game. Without it, this would be like 90% just walking back and forth. So, you know. Um, oops, wrong road. We gotta go back this way, and then we gotta take a right. Um, so, yeah. Um, glad that it's there. But uh, there are a couple of places where it's. Yeah, and there's the amazing one, so. Magic is all the rage these days. The Gruba Residence. Also a patron of the arts, it seems. Same statue over there as before. This we have... Uh, Dionysus and Satyr. Oh, and giant chess pieces. If I had a, uh, a floor that looked like this, I would scarcely be able to resist the impulse myself. I must admit. And what have we here? Is this Aphrodite and Eros? Looks to could be. And then just a cart full of pears or something. Oh, there's an orange tree. I wonder if oranges are in some manner significant to this investigation. 
Hey, Miss Kuba, what's good? Who do you think good? you are, barging in here like this? Another hack writer from the Chronicle here to mock my misfortune. I will not tolerate your lampooning. No, I'm I have no the butterfly of inspector. You, I'm I am here no to inspect all the butterflies writer. flying around in the my background. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Holmes! The name sounds familiar. Are you perhaps related to that brilliant young man, Mycroft Holmes? My late husband, Sir Ralph, spoke very highly of him. Yes, indeed. He is my brother. I am sorry for your loss, Lady Gruber. Loss isn't the word for it. It's an outrage. It was a black pearl necklace, not mm. some mere bauble. Actually, I meant your, um... Never mind. What happened exactly? What happened? I was robbed, for heaven's sake. While my guests and I were enjoying the amazing Alonzo show, a thief broke in through the window and stole my necklace. Do you suspect anyone? Uh, one of your guests, perhaps? Good heavens, no. My soirees are strictly for Codona's creme de la creme, very far removed from the debaucheries oh, yes. of that liberty. Everybody knows rich Lady people never do anything Carl. wrong. Do I suspect Lady Vaughan, the governor's own cousin, or the right honorable Lord Crane, oh, or Crane Lieutenant Colonel Wolf from Dorset? Preposterous. Yeah, preposterous. Why would rich people ever do anything wrong? It was a magic show, yes? Oh, yes. Alonzo turned cards into butterflies. An impressive spectacle. Everyone loved it. Lieutenant Colonel Wolf became so excited he had a coughing fit. I had to send him to the guest room to catch his breath. Mm-hmm. I'd like to take a look at the crime scene. Please go ahead, Mr. Holmes. I haven't touched anything whilst waiting for the police. Those laggards do take their time, don't they? Perhaps... Colonel Wolf or Lieutenant Colonel Wolf? I missed his title. Um, ruined the joke. Um, perhaps he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> All right. Okay, I had a clue. There it is. Ah, oh, this Alonzo enjoys changing faces as much as you do. Mm hmm. Okay, where's the second clue? Um, oh yeah, the fake mustache. That's what I was trying to get before. A hint of gravitas for my wardrobe. Oh, great. I get to use somebody else's handlebar mustache that's sanitary. Here's the card trick. The audience don't notice the secret compartment hidden behind all the cards. Pushing this button swaps the upper and lower compartments and releases the butterflies. Mm-hmm. Signed by someone from the audience, I think. Yeah, what name? Okay, I guess the actual name isn't that important. I would want to take note of it. Okay. Same statues. Here's a new statue. Uh, David and Goliath? Perhaps? I don't know. Alright, um... There's the buddy flies. Trying to get some of that prosciutto. John, what the fuck are you doing right now? Is this an invitation, John? It's not appreciated. The window is open. The glass and the locking bars are intact. The window sill is perfectly clean. Perhaps too clean. Maybe it was wiped down. Cards. Butterfly. This butterfly must have seen something. Come on, little chum. Spill it. Uh, the card is signed, it seems, by the same name, although they didn't mention the name. Oh, sorry, there is more to see there. This butterfly must have seen no. something. Come on, little chum. Spill it. 
Dude. How did it get here? <gasps> Magic. That's how. These cards are carefully arranged. The thief is trying to tell us something. Ace, eight, seven, eight, two, eight of hearts. All the other jewelry is untouched, but why? Okay, apparently there was more to find at the last scene because we didn't get to do a reconstruction, so I must have missed something. We'll have to go back. Okay, uh, we'll start in here. Here's all the guests. Clapping, having a grand old time. Turning cards into butterflies. Meanwhile, coughing fit. Oh, where was she during this? Okay, she's there. Or... Yeah, there we go. He has a coughing fit. Okay, so there's only two choices. So this one, she said, having a coughing fit. He, she has to lead him into the guest room. Uh, he did not break in. He was let in. Uh, what? Well, I guess that one, I suppose. Um, is that meant to be our mystery person? Well, we know that he was in this room, because he was lit in here, so... And then... He opens a window, or the mystery person opens the window? Okay, no. So, he opened the window. Okay. Is that everything? Uh, seems to be. You're not even no. trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Um, Alright, so if he had the coughing fit in here, then she was enjoying the show when he had the coughing fit. There we go. Oh, I, and I just now noticed that he appears there. This is where he starts coughing. Okay. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. No, huh? Okay. Um, then... Problem must be over here, and we are to we're meant to say that he is not the one who arranged the cards; that it was prearranged over here. You're not even trying, mm -hmm. Sherry. Concentrate. Okay, then let's review the case. I must have missed something. Um, oh, that's meant to be who stole the who stole the necklace. Okay, so then yes, that would be our mystery person. That's fine. <clears throat> Um, let's see what else. Four cards, ace, eight, seven, eight. What is that meant to signify? Ace, eight, seven, eight. Um, okay. Guest room, yes, okay, we know that. Um, okay, so it's just the top three here. I don't know the significance of the cards. He's the only one we know for sure to have been in this room, and it does seem to have been locked. He didn't have to pick the door. He was let in to the guest room. Lieutenant Colonel retired to the guest room for a while during the show. Okay. Um, I am going to say that this one is most likely this one. 
because she said that she helped him. This is her helping him. And the other one, it looks like he's coughing, but he's not being helped. So I think that this one is this. He didn't have to pick the door. He was allowed in, but he also wasn't sitting here. Is this meant to be him maybe trying to get into the door before he puts on the show about coughing and stuff? And we know that he was in this room, and we know that uh, the sill is clean, so assuming that means that it's meant to indicate that nobody climbed through it, although it could have cleaned up afterwards. And I think that the coughing was a pretext to get in this room so that he could set up this over here. Let's try it. The wow. Lieutenant Colonel so he did the pick the lock. The what? Open the window to make it look as though someone broke in. Why would he pick the lock on a room that he was allowed to be in? He was let into that room. Faking a coughing fit, Lieutenant Colonel Wolf entered the guest room where no one would see him. He picked the lock to Lady... Oh, that's not the guest room. I thought that was the guest room. This is not the guest room. So, why would they call it that? This is clearly a dining room. Dining room with an off-center table. It's driving me crazy. Um... Weird. That's not her... That can't be her bedroom. I mean, it, it's a bedroom, but this has to be the guest room. I, I, so, I mean, I assume through here would be a staircase that leads to a second floor. Alright. Well, let's talk to her. The thief didn't break in through the window, as he would have you believe, Lady Gruber. He picked the lock of the door from the guest room. That's not a it guest room. It seems as though Lieutenant Colonel Wolf has sticky fingers. But why would someone of his station commit such a crime? He's a reputable man, a commander of the Dorset Regiment's 3rd Battalion. Did he introduce himself to you as such? Why, yes. He was such a debonair gentleman, a brilliant raconteur. And an imposter to boot. A thief in wolf's clothing, so to speak. <laughs> I mean, but Mr. Holmes, my, my joke was better. That is a serious but accusation. The Dorset Regiment has only two battalions, Lady Gruber. What are you saying? I need to sit down. Well, you know, I may catch the thief yet. Until then, I bid you farewell. Okay. Um, so that's one down. It looks like we have to go back to the Crane residence because we missed something. We didn't get to do a reconstruction there, so... Uh, let's go back. Oh god, it's such a long walk. Magic is all the rage these days. All right. So what I miss here? That's the calf house. Um. Uh, it could be something down here. Got the magic trick. Uh, the one thing we didn't see at the Gruber house that I expected to find was a similar message. Um, because the killer, not killer, the thief, uh, bothered to write us a couple of messages and replace the stolen picture with a mirror. Um, did not bother to leave a message at the Gruber house. Uh, let's see, if I ping this... 
doesn't show us anything, so it must be in the renovated room. Perhaps evidence that fully exonerates the one-legged porter. So we got this. Yep, we got all that. Tools. There's the wallpaper he was talking about. back here. Okay. Maybe there's not something here. Lane, not Crean. Lane. Okay, we did that. A can of blue paint has been spilled on the floor. The stain was is mismatched, indicating the plank was moved. One wallpaper roll is missing. The thief hung a mirror stone painting, he drew a mustache and a top hat on it and wrote the ends and miners end. Okay. Alright. He, he stepped in the paint. Anyone who stepped in paint knows that you don't just leave one clean footprint. There should be more. Oh, here. Here we go. Just noticed the blue splotch here. There we go. All right, so what do we got, John? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, one legged guy didn't do that. Uh, no. There we go. Crawling around on a plank. The peg leg. Come on. Alright, but what did he do with the roll of wallpaper? He said something about it being... Uh, where is that? He said something about... Uh, about, uh his servant Vincent saying something about the wallpaper being ruined, not missing. Um, but yeah, this was where he was. That's why he didn't, well, no, because he stole a plank. We'll come back to that. Okay. Yep. Nope. Here we go. Um, what is the alternative here again? Uh, that's right, the mystery person stealing. I don't think that the... I don't, I don't understand what the point of... Hey, Sherlock. I don't understand what the point of the wallpaper is. Is it that the wallpaper was just merely... It was just damaged, and he's down here entertaining the crowd with his oranges. There's nothing here for us to pin, so let's try this. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. All right, then it must be the one, two, three. Yeah, there's only three. It must be this. Did he steal the roll of? The wow. thief entered the house disguised as Vincent, removed oh, his disguised. leg, and walked across the plank to the gallery where he stole the painting. All right. Okay. And now we talk to the dude again. Your valet is innocent, Sir Finley. In fact, he wasn't even here on the day of the auction. But I saw him with my own eyes. The man you saw was disguised as Vincent, with both his legs present and extremely capable. As you were engrossed in the show, he walked across a plank to the gallery right above your heads, an acrobatic feat of no mean proportions. My good old Vincent, in truth, I didn't doubt him for a second. Mm -hmm. Do you know who the brazen thief is? Not yet, Sir Finley, but rest assured I will find him. I would be much obliged if you'll recover my painting, too. Just think of all the urchins who would get a chance at honest work. 
Right. What? Wait a moment. I thought you were planning to fund an orphanage, not a workhouse. Bah! Workhouse. What an outdated notion. The orphans will be fed, clothed, and educated. Yes, they will also learn an honest trade. What's the harm in that? Surely it's better than picking pockets and begging on the streets? Oh, for God's sake. With all due respect, Sir Finley, this is exploitation of child labour, no matter how you look at it. You're entitled to your opinion, sir, but the fact remains the painting belongs to me, and what I do with it is nobody's business but my own. I'm Thank burning you, the fucking painting. Day. I'm burning it. Okay, we have one more then. Uh, let's see, Lake Calf's House, Baskerville, North from the Crossing with Silent Way and Grand Saray. Baskerville, Silent Way, so north, uh, somewhere around here, I guess. And north. And there it is. Magic is all the rage these days. Uh huh. Okay, we got some cops just hanging out at this lady's house. Having a little tea, huh? That's comfortable. Can I get you anything? And you, I assume, are Lady Calf. Well, aren't you a dashing young man? <laughs> May I ask your name? Sherlock Holmes, at your service. She is... I'm Lady Calf. Uh, but please, very close. call okay. me Miriam. How have I never seen you at any of my parties? Oh, you've missed out on so much fun. The latest one was a blast. First, a magic show. And then, to everyone's surprise, an audacious burglary. I beg your pardon, Lady Calf, but why are you so excited? Wasn't it your house that was burgled? Uh, let me ask you, have you ever witnessed a crime at a party? Oh, yeah. Of course not. But my All the time. guests have. Oh, it was a night to remember. Everyone's gone home, but at least I have these fine gentlemen here to keep me company. Right. This looks quite lax for a police investigation. I'd say so. I'm sure the officers are eager to sink their teeth into the case, but I thought a small aperitif wouldn't hurt. Nothing like a little champagne to get the brain working, I say. Okay. Could you be more specific? What exactly happened? Well, there were drinks and hors d'oeuvres, followed by more drinks, of course. And then we gathered to watch the amazing Alonso saw himself in half. Oh, it was breathtaking. Some guests had to be revived with smelling salts. Then I invited everyone upstairs to see Abel's collection of curios. And there, someone had stolen Abel's treasure. A treasure? You mentioned a treasure. <laughs> Frankly, I have no idea what it is. Some kind of shell the size of a dinner plate. Didn't look that valuable to me. Abel brought it back from America, a place called Massachusetts or something. <laughs> you mean Massachusetts? Yes, Massachusetts. That's what I said. He's been strangely obsessed with it ever since. Locked it inside a chest like some treasure. <laughs> Poor Abel, he's going to be so upset when he returns. Mm. So Abel Who is... is... Abel? Your husband, I take it? Yes. My Abel is a famous... What do you call it? Uh, astrologist. He travels the world, digging up saucy sculptures, old chamber pots, that kind of thing. <laughs> you boys and your silly hobbies. Wow, she's dim. Okay. I'd like to take a look upstairs where the burglary took place. Certainly, be my guest. Such panache. You have to see it to believe it. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. African motifs. I suppose, as an astrologist, he probably does quite a bit of traveling and collecting of artifacts. <laughs> Pianer? Ah, oh, this place is a fucking sty. Um, 
and there's a, somebody here forced to clean all this up. And that's nice. Oh gosh, I feel sorry for the housemate. Yeah, me too. That's what I was just saying, John. It's almost like you read my mind. Mm. Nice fancy rug is damaged. That's too bad. I'm sure it's... I mean, looking at this place, it is probably lifted from somewhere and of cultural significance, and it's being treated like this. So, boy, they got <laughs> plenty of libations here. Um, nothing back here, it seems. No, there's a bottle on the floor. That's it. a couple of bottles on the floor. And there's the sawing himself in half trick. They say Grand Saray is the district that never sleeps, and they don't lie, especially when it comes to the Calf residence. Lady Miriam Calf, wife of the acclaimed archaeologist Sir Abel Calf, has hosted ten parties this month alone. She doesn't plan on stopping. With her spouse away on an expedition to Mesoamerica, Lady Calf is hosting yet another lavish gala, this time featuring Cordona's best entertainer, the amazing Alonzo, while they took out a, an ad in the paper for their party. Or somehow convinced the Chronicle to write an article about it. Definitely general interest, right? A hat. Short brown hair without a root. So a wig. This ribbon bears faint traces of soot. Well, soot. there ain't any rabbits in this hat. Um, apparently I get to keep that. All right. This deceptively simple box is actually an elaborate apparatus. Alonzo must be a short, lean person to be able to fit inside. I think we all know this trick. I think it's more than just... An industrial-looking saw. I imagine it's fairly loud. The saw was working for several minutes to build up tension in the audience. So we have a pair of belts. Those are very thin and long belts to drive such a large blade. I find it hard to believe that it's actual steel, uh, but anyway. Also, look at look at the alignment of the belt and the sawtooths. You see this? Right. Well, move your fucking elbow, Sherlock. Thank you. Um, looks downright impossible. But the blade actually, there is no safety. Is there a safety on the other side? There's not. There's actually no safety in this box. So the blade does pass through it. I mean, obviously it's not actually sawing anyone in half, but typically there would be a safety. The, the top would be enclosed to prevent somebody from actually being injured by the blade by, you know, having a finger or toe in the wrong place. But there's no safety on this one, so this is actually a dangerous, dangerous trick. Okay, what else have we... Um, beached whale. Another nautically themed whaling painting. Harvesting blubber from a beached whale. Interesting choice of decor. I'm going to talk to the maid now. Sir, I only just washed the upstairs floor. Just stay down here until it drops. Sir. I only just washed the upstairs I, floor. I have just to go upstairs, I'm sorry. I have to go upstairs. I hope you, you haven't mopped up any evidence. Door, door, open door. Okay. Door? No. Okay, let me try the other closed door. Door? Open door it is. Chest, I presume, with the saw blade itself. Okay. We've got things. A oh, Cthulhu statue. <laughs> now, um, as I mentioned, I'm playing all of these games in chronological order. Um, and there was a re-release of Sherlock Holmes Awakened, uh, which I understand to 
include Lovecraftian references in it. The next one I'm going to be playing is Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper, because chronologically that takes place in 1888, obviously, Jack the Ripper. Um, but The Awakened is, I think, the third in the series. So eventually uh, this will... Uh, I'm, I'm guessing this will be a tie-in to that when I get to that game. Mummy of a Young Woman. Cambodian statue, tribal totem, Central Africa, 1875. Um, here we have, um, what is it called? Crenoling, uh, the stonework, um, decorative stonework on the top of walls. Um, here we have a Mesoamerican statue, bronze. Um, a frieze, likely pilfered from some ancient place, doesn't belong here, same with this. If I, uh, if I remember correctly, I believe that this is one of those stone wheels that's used as currency in an island culture. I believe it is, well, I'm not going to speculate, I'm probably going to be wrong, but you know, there's an island culture that utilizes giant stone wheels as a form of currency um, and they're so large that rather than move them they just know when they transfer ownership and they can claim them uh here we have another freeze this one's got writing on it uh looks like lambda alpha uh is that large pas it's if I don't know, I don't, I don't read Greek or Latin. Stone and marble, vote of relief of with a woman. Oh wait, they had no. Yeah, they. Yeah, Jasha. Uh, that's Cyrillic. I'm thinking of the wrong alphabet. Ah, uh, stone head. This is just a rock to my eye. Uh, another Mesoamerican statue. Mayan artifacts. Excavations in Carigua, Guatemala, 1873. And then we have the table. Planning his next expedition. Probably using some ancient artifact as a paperweight here. Um, we are upside down, but there's a world map of sorts. Okay. To the box. What does the box say? Helicoid spirit spiral sculpture. Unknown material. Massachusetts. Helicoid spiral sculpture. Okay. You did leave a message here. I'm not half bad, am I? I'm not half bad, am I? You have to admire the goal. Um, is this meant to be actually sawed in half? I mean, this blade couldn't saw shit, but is it meant to be? It looks like a leaf from a fruit tree. Botany is not exactly my forte, but it could be a pomegranate, possibly. Okay. All right. So the. The uh, thing refers to uh, the missing object. This doesn't make sense. Why haul this machine up here if one could just steal the chest? Well, or just open the chest. It's not like it's super high security or anything. Um, it does have... I do, I do recognize the symbol there in the middle that's been cut. Uh, I believe that that's also a Lovecraftian reference, and I think that the script here is also meant to be part of, like, an alien language. Um, okay. Well, I don't think that's everything, because we didn't get the thing, so we're missing something. Probably not in this room, though. We got all those. Got that. Didn't talk to John, but John has nothing useful to say at any point. 
So, let's go back down and see if we missed something there. I feel like there should be something on the floor. Um, uh, 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 uh. Okay, garden outside. Possibly permanganate. Um, oh, and I did miss this. Lady Calf certainly spares no expense. I already could tell. Anything else? No, well, come on in here. Gotta wait for the cooldown. Got the box. That's it. Okay, so outside. Oh, I did miss something in here. Shards of a broken bottle. That must have been one wild party. Again, I could already tell. Okay. Oh, there we go. Wait, where? Oh, it's upstairs. Well, I guess I needed to state the obvious before I could do this thing. Okay. Come on, John. Do your job. Okay, mystery person. Uh, no, it wasn't her. No, why would there be a giant apparatus? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. So they must have timed it to go along with the uh, trick in order to avoid the sound. People partying, having a good time, or uh, an accident. Okay, we're going to go with that one because they're having a good time, and it seems like that's what happened. Um, Alright, and then they're in here. Here's the magic show. What is meant to be conveyed here? Uh, is that meant to represent... No, okay. What's the other alternative? Maybe then it'll make sense. Uh, no. Okay, I see. Yes, it would have been during the sawing in order to conceal the sound. And that is three things. That's it? Okay. You're not even trying, Sherry. Um, Concentrate. Okay. So, an accident here. This one. Okay, I the see very little difference the between those sound. two. The thief used the same equipment as in the magic trick, and at exactly the same time. Coordinated confederate. Okay. Uh, Lady Cat's house of mystery research that took place on the first floor. Whilst the guests were watching the show downstairs, Lady Calf allowed me inside to investigate. Okay. Uh, garden outside is where we're still headed. Got to verify that there is a leaf out there. And if not, then that will be our clue. We're looking for somewhere with pomegranate trees. A YOLO. Hey, John. There we go. No? Okay. Am I looking for a tree missing a specific leaf? Okay, and then how about the shed? Okay. <laughs> what? I seem like it feels like I I mean I feel like any one of these trees would offer an opportunity for a comparison. Just look at the leaves. Uh, okay. Oh. Ladder. 
ladder that is apparently not important. Okay. Am I looking for a specific tree here? What the hell? No problem. The investigation's well underway. You say so. Um. <laughs> okay. What is going on here? Oh. Concentrate. Okay, it's got to be this tree. There we go. That's it. A pomegranate. Okay, it's pinned. Now, oh, the ladder. Now, now I can investigate the ladder. <sighs> it's pretty long. Long mm -hmm. enough to reach the first floor. The first floor. Oh, very British. Okay. Moving on. If you're unfamiliar in America, the first floor is the ground floor. And then the first floor is the second floor, and so on. And now I can investigate the shed. These are all clues that I saw before. I just had to do them in the right order, I guess. These gardening clothes look dirty, but those aren't grass stains. It's paint. These are fake. Someone impersonated a groundskeeper. Seems like a lot of effort to go through, and you could have just dirtied Large up some clothes. Size nine. Size nine, eh? The rubber is very thin, too thin for actual gardening work. The amazing synchronicity. Okay. All right, now we will talk to Lady Cough again. It's gotten dark. I wonder if the moon moves fast enough for us to visibly see it. Oh yeah, it sure does. Look at how fast that moon moves. We are whizzing through space. Okay. I can tell you how the crime occurred, Mom, but first, if you'll indulge me, you don't have a full-time gardener, do you? No, I don't. Why, do you think the lawn needs mowing? Your lawn is perfectly fine. I just wanted to confirm my theory. The thief was disguised as a gardener in order to blend in with the servants. He used a ladder to climb up to the first floor and later escape. But the sawing? Surely we would have been alerted by the sound. Ah, this is where it gets interesting. You see, the thief timed it precisely to match Alonso's performance. Evidently, he knew the trick inside out. Golly gosh, that makes it even more extraordinary. Mr. Holmes, you are a delight. You absolutely must come to my next shindig. I can't think of anything I'd rather do less, but this investigation is far from over. Farewell. <laughs> All right. Now we have to do some research. Um, thief left behind three clues. Four cards on the dressing table. Ace, eight, seven, eight. The ends and minors end. And apparently I'm not half bad is not significant enough for Sherlock to make note of it. It is part of a criminal signature, though. Also, the disguise is part of the modus operandi, because he was disguised for two out of three of these. The other one, we're not sure if a disguise was truly necessary or not. Um, oh no, sorry, he used a disguise for all three. That's right, he assumed somebody else's identity. So... Who do we... Do I go to the police for their archives? That's... I think they I think they do have a, a way to search for criminal signatures. Um, property crimes. I think that seems right to me. Let's give that a try, I guess. Trail of this. Yeah. 
What's up? Yours. A nice person. I mean, there haven't been any police reports, which is why I'm a little iffy about this, because it does seem wrong. Uh, property crimes. Criminal pattern. And Grand Surrey. No. Uh, it mentions Miner's End, so maybe that. Forget about districts, then. Suspects. Alright. If it's not suspects... No. If it's not suspects, it's gotta be districts. We tried Grand Saray. Miners and... City, Scaladio, Silverton... Okay, if it's not criminal pattern, is it instruments? No. Okay. Suspects, instruments? No. Okay. Um. Eight, seven, and eight. Is that a reference to something? Because that's the only part of this I can't really figure out. The ends and miners end is, I'm guessing, a reference to where they are or whatever they're up to. Um, Ace, eight, seven, eight. Ace, eight, seven, eight. That's not the dead man's hand from Wild Bill Hickok, because that's aces and eights. Um, eight, seven, eight. Is it A E S C? No. It's it's a research question. It's a research clue. Wait, maybe John's diary has something to say about it. Someone's diary the person who allows you a special contraption allowing him to curl up and avoid the saw while his feet are replaced with fakes. Okay, but still. Card of their choosing, he shows the text. It's made the top. What is the point of having the card, duplicate card, in the guest room during this. Whoever the thief is is definitely their confederate, right? That's not helpful. Okay, um... Okay, I, I don't, maybe it's not a police archives, maybe it is one of the other two. Um, between the two remaining choices of City Hall or Chronicle, the one that makes... I don't know. If it's not the police archive, then I don't know. Um... Let's try the Chronicle, I guess. Maybe there was a news story? Um, 
recent articles. Maybe celebrities for the amazing Alonzo. Um, and Saray. Miner's End. Okay. Articles and reviews. Current events. Front page. Advertisements. Obituaries. I, I, none of this seems right. I don't have any clues that lead to any of this. So, I can't remember what the criteria are for the city hall searches so i guess at least i will stop there it's looking increasingly like this is actually this actually is a police archives thing i must have just not have had the right attributes for the search um i think it's over here yeah um what's the subjects period registry Businesses. This period. Occupation. Oh, okay. Gimbal's Costume Atelier. Located on Copper Street between Lestrade and Furrier and Miner's End. Established in 1878. Uh, okay. I'm not sure how I was supposed to know that it was the City Hall Archive. I feel like I very much lucked into that. I feel like our clue of Ace 878 was not at all useful in determining this. Miner's End, fair enough. Disguise, fair enough. But I had no idea that I was looking for a costume shop. That was just... But, yeah, one of those clues is completely useless. Or even, even seeing this... How am I supposed to know? Even knowing the answer, I, I still can't tell. Oops. Okay, um, but whatever. Copper. Copper streets between Lestrade. Rear. Thereabouts. Just so far away. Stretch out that playtime. Whoa. Did you see her? You're a wizard. I'll never forget this place. Poor old Toby. Yes, I'm still upset about that. Poor Toby. Alright, somewhere over here. Costume shop. dead. It's fine. Uh, see the mark. See a dude out here. Um, here. Lestrade and Furrier. Yeah, so back this way. Um, well, it must be up there, I guess. In here.
Um... You must be the amazing Alonzo. Sir, if you want to book a show, unfortunately, that is not possible. All of my props have been confiscated until further notice. And if you're here to ask me about those burglaries, I have nothing to add to what I've already told the police. It wasn't me. Who are you trying to fool? Yeah, no shit. Yes. What are you hiding behind your back? Let me see what you're hiding behind your back. Nothing, it seems. Okay. I think we get it. I think we got it immediately. Right. We got it. Long, thin fingers, a bound chest. That's all the evidence required to realize that the amazing Alonzo is a woman cross-dressing as a man. The trail of clues led me to her, and I do not believe in coincidences. I wonder if her sex is the only secret she keeps, or if her disguise is just the tip of the iceberg. I can't, I can't deduce by the thin fingers, but the mustache clearly gives her away. I imagine it's difficult to be a female illusionist in the 19th century. I can't blame her for trying to build a career. Cross-dressing is not a crime. Um... And I have no solid evidence to prove that the amazing Alonzo is behind these robberies. I would rather listen to her story first. Um, let's see. I do think that the thief... Do, I'm, what I'm trying to think through right now is, do we have evidence that the amazing Alonzo is aware or working with the partner to commit the crimes. We know that the thief knows the Amazing Alonzo's act very, very well. Um, and I also believe that they actually assist them with the act. But the Amazing Alonzo is doing the trick and the thief could be acting independently knowing the timing themselves. Mm, I think that the last line here, I would rather listen to her story first. I think that that is about where I am. I don't think that I, I, I think that I am, I am suspicious of her. I do think that she's doing something. I think she's involved with this, with the thefts, but I think hearing her story is the right way to go. I'm investigating the burglaries in Grand Saray. The clues led me to this atelier, but I did not expect to see you here. Someone has clearly been playing tricks on you. Cruel tricks. It's good to know that you're on my side. I'm here seeking I wouldn't answers say that. the same as you. The person behind this knows my tricks well. So well that it's uncanny. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I used to practice here back when the atelier was in business. Some of my props are still in the basement. And the answers are too, I think. What are you waiting for, then? Look around you. This neighborhood is a criminal's paradise. The building is overrun by bandits. What should I tell them? Don't mind me, fellas. I'll be in and out. Let me compliment you on your disguise. Especially the mustache. Thank you kindly. I wouldn't call it a disguise, though. Alonzo is my stage persona. But the moustache is indeed fake. Guilty as charged. Mine is a slow grower. Miss, please. I can see that you're a woman. Very well, I am a woman. So what? I've learned all my own tricks. I want to be taken seriously, rather than as someone's jumped-up assistant. Um, Do you really think that if I didn't put on this act, I'd bask in the glory of being the world's first female magician? Actually, that sounds quite plausible. Huh, that's easy for you to say. Sometimes, if we want to be true to ourselves, we have to pretend to be someone else. No, nope, that's My not how that works. Told me this once, and I think that he's right. No, he wasn't. It strikes me as rather dubious reasoning. Who is this friend of yours? A close friend, who recently arrived from France. Let's leave it at that. You may have exposed me, but I simply don't see how my personal life is relevant. Fine. I'll go inside and see if I can find something. Don't go anywhere. Um, okay, great. Well, I bought the battle clothes. I guess at least I get to use them once. So, there's that. As much as I'm loath to. Do 
generic fight number 47. Good day. Take a rest, my friend. Don't bother moving. You've lost. I could miss the party. The snuff's ready. Too simple. You can overcome the brute now. Take a rest, my f The snuff's ready. Oops. I am invincible. Oh, he's wearing armor. I'm coming for you. I seem to be firing a lot faster than I was able to before. I wonder why that is. I don't remember getting any perks or anything. But before, the firing rate was quite slow on this. Ah, fucker. Oops. I don't feel that bad, though. to knock this I couldn't miss the party Don't bother moving you've lost I'm coming No I can deal with Just all the of the uh, repeated lines that they constantly use, but I really wish they would stop saying "I'm coming." That's the one that just really bothers no me the most. Time for you until next month. Thank you, Jesus God. <sighs> oh, an entry in John's diary. Really? Do I get to hear him talk about how much I suck at this, or what? No. Okay. Um. thing there. Nothing there. This is supposed to be blocked off somehow. And that's the way out. Okay, so I guess it's over here. Mm. Maybe I could fire faster because of the outfit. Do you think that it actually matters? Butterflies. So little light for these little fellas. Um, saw trick. Very powerful saw. The saw was tested on different materials, most meticulous. The same oranges as we saw at Lane's house. Mm. Timing it. Timed to perfection. Okay. Oh, and they know the Amazing Alonzo. Look at all these posters. If it's not the Amazing Alonzo, it's somebody who knows a lot these about them. The diagrams of all the magic tricks in the Amazing Alonzo's arsenal. That saw box up there at the top is physically impossible. Um, with what we saw, anyway. Okay. It's looking increasingly less likely that it's somebody other than the Amazing Alonzo, to be honest with you. This is tons of detail. You're getting warmer, Mr. Sholmes. Sholmes? I feel like I should have my gun out. Dirty yarn. Costumes. Mirror. Warmer steel. Join me at the fireplace. John, can you give me a heads up, maybe? What's this book? Um. Okay. Mm. 
Warm as steel. Join me at the fireplace. Is that the painting? Dear Herlock Sholmes, I trust it is you who are reading this. Clearly no one else would have half the wit to follow the clues. The police are incompetent most everywhere, but here they are exceptionally pathetic. So imagine my surprise when I learned of you, a diamond in a dung heap, finally a worthy opponent. You see, stealing is a kind of magic. Every magician relies on his repertoire of tricks to deceive his audience. Alonzo is a good magician, but she is not the best. I am. Her real name is Melinda, by the way. Like everything else on this island, our amourette began to bore me, so I decided to play one last joke before I left. And if you are reading this, the effort was not entirely wasted. I must admit that I have a soft spot for orphans, so I leave you the painting. May it go to a good cause. Au revoir, Monsieur Sholmes. I hope our paths cross again. Arsène Lupin. How did he time the wax cylinder recording like that? That would be impossible. Cordona cypresses and a bonus wallpaper roll. Also, they can't have gone far. The cigarette's sitting there smoldering and it's barely burned down. They're here somewhere, very close by. Okay. I guess I am to just trust that they're gone. I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like they're around here somewhere. But I get that that's not the way the game is meant to be played, I guess. The story is sort of as it is. Okay, um... So, what did you find? You know them, I can tell you that. Um... You won't like what I have to say, but you deserve to know. Your French friend, Arsène Lupin, used this place as a hideout. No, no, that can't be true. He, he's staying at Il Palazzo del Luce. He's there at this minute. But how do you know his name? It is my business to know things, miss. He is the thief. This was all some twisted joke to him. No, th this is just... this can't. He was the only one who understood me. He said that he loved me. I don't believe that you'll ever see him again. He has slipped away from the island. Good riddance to him, then. All men are the same, aren't they? They come and go, leaving nothing behind but lice. Well, he also left the stolen painting. Hmm... I don't think that Sir Finley should get it back because he's going to create a workhouse and he's a bad person because of that, so... Although I generally do not condone misappropriation, I think you should have this painting. Go to Europe, resell it, learn new tricks. Just don't make a show of it. Um, it's okay, that's not property. what I meant. I, will think I meant you take the painting I never asked and John. sell it and create an it's orphanage, Holmes. but okay. Sherlock Holmes. I am Melinda Teller. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Miss Teller. Good luck. Newcomer outfit. Oh, did I get a new outfit? Huh. Okay. I'm going to stick with the uh, pirate get-up, though. At least for now. Okay. I think that we are uh, about at a point where we can move on here. Uh, this is getting long enough, and um, I feel like uh, this is going to be pretty close to the end. Or maybe I should start another part for it. Now, let's, let's go in, uh, and do A Mother's Love here. At least to the point where I know for sure if it's the end of the game or not. Mind Palace, Death by Hypoxia. My am testify. Oh, okay. She drowned. My mother drowned. Throat wood wound could either be a final humiliation by her killer or a desperate attempt to save her. The slit of my mother's throat was an attempted tracheotomy. It makes no sense to do this if she was drowning. Okay. Not really sure quite how to answer this. I don't think it was a final humiliation, but it could have been a desperate attempt to save her. Um, but yes, it didn't make sense to do if 
she was drowning. You don't do a tracheotomy because you're drowning. Um, because the problem isn't an obstructed airway. It's fluid in the lungs. Um. Good question. I'm going to go with this just for now while we go back and make some more connections here. Okay. All right. We, we have all of these extra clues here. I feel like there's, um, there's got to be more. Maybe this isn't as close to the end as I thought it was. Um, well, I guess the only way we're going to find... I guess the only way we're going to find more clues is by going back to Stonewood Manor and checking it out. Um, we've got the curio cabinet that we finished off, um, but we haven't been inside to see if it triggers any more memories. Maybe that will give us the last bit of this that we need to, um, you know, finish it up. So let's do that. And here... I'm going to go up to my room, too, and see if, uh, now that I have the pirate outfit, if it um, lets me do something else with the gun, because it said I'm not dressed for it, so I would say that now I am. I will need a proper outfit to match this. I'd say you have it, Sherlock. I will need a proper outfit to match this. Okay. Not exactly what I wanted to see, then. All right, then no more pirate outfits. Uh, we'll, sure, we'll do the new outfit, why not, and, oh, we got the deerstalker hat now, and I don't remember getting the Windsor glasses, but okay, um, where's that, yeah, here we go, handlebar mustache that we just got, um, and that's it, and let's change John while we're here, let's put him, let's put him back in the, in the, uh, frock, huh? All right, and then let's go to the curio room. Now it looks exactly like it was a decade ago. I can almost feel the memories hitting me. Well, I thought we already did this. Yeah, we did. Um, is there anything new then? Uh, da -da. There's the cat. What a monstrosity! Where could such a creature even survive? There's the dagger. An excellent example of Mayan culture from Guatemala. Um, there's the mermaid. Nothing else to say about that, apparently. Um. There was one other thing. Another fake Holy Grail. Its owner claimed to be the heir of King Arthur. Scarcely believable. He also insisted a deadly rabbit was hunting him. Ha! Uh, Monty Python reference again. Watkinson and Holman, Chapter 1. Oh. Watkinson and Holman, Chapter 1. By Wallace Diorum. Oh, Mycroft. He always acts so serious, but then reads tripe like this. John, Get it. if I remember correctly, you couldn't put this book down. Get it? I get it. Um, there was one other thing that we bought, though. I didn't see it. Must have missed it. Because there was the cat, and there was one other thing. I don't exactly remember. 1852, Bingley, West Yorkshire. Yeah, this we did see. Okay, well, maybe that is everything. Didn't seem to trigger any memories, though. Let's do this. We grail this thing, that thing. Uh, this we missed. Some light reading for my spare time. What a monstrosity. Where could such a creature even survive? Not sure what the difference is between the ones that are marked in gold and the ones that are merely white. 
It was a jar of something. Uh, oh, that's right. It was um, it was a brass cylinder with a window. That was the second thing. I can't remember exactly what it was, but that's what it looked like. Don't see it. Oh, there it is. This thing right here. It's a pity how many amazing things are missing from this room. Okay. Then I guess that's it. Um, what's this? Deal with the empty house. Oh, I forgot to pin it before I did the thing. All right, that's why. Um. Oh, I remember now. I never liked the way the books were sorted on these shelves. That you didn't. Your brother often struggled to find his reading materials after our visits. During our time at Zone of Manor, Sherry and I would regularly visit the Canon Curiosity. Sherlock was sometimes so bored that he rearranged all the books in his own particular order. He said that it was easier to find the required book this way, but Mycroft never agreed. The last time that Mycroft was unable to find his desired reading material, he extricated us for an hour and insisted that we return to the shelves how they were. Oh, okay. Well, that's quite a memory, I guess. Um... Oh, let's go upstairs and uh, see if we need to place the coins, because we did collect them all, if I remember correctly. Um, apparently not. Okay, so what else need be done then for infra... Uh, I guess it does say... We need to do a concentration, but I feel like that's not it. I feel like the concentration thing was for the coins themselves. What the hell? I mean, we have it. We have all of them. One... Missing one? Oh, we are. There's one more coin to find. Number two. It was hidden underneath the miner's end. Right? Where is there? Yep, that's the one. Alright, I'm not going to leave just one coin out there. I, I've got to go for it. Um, which means that I'm going to put this in another part, because we're already at like two hours for this. So... Uh, come back next time. We're going to finish this game up. I'm going to grab the last coin, and then we're going to head out to the back garden, okay? See you then.